Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to this training session for OSDB migration. So to start with, we will get into the different terms which is used in performing the OSDB migration. So before we get started, let's see the basic terminology which we should be aware of in performing OSDB migration. So first thing is what is a system copy? System copy basically it stands for duplicating the system. So for example, you have an SAP system and you need to create another SAP system. So that's where the term duplication is used. So when a system copy is made, all the instances are newly created, but the database is set up using a copy of the source system database. So what happens is we set up the system by taking an export or the database backup of the source system. System copy can be either homogeneous or heterogeneous. Okay, so homogeneous system copy. So basically what happens in homogeneous system copy is we do not change operating system and the database during this particular activity. So operating system and the database remains the same. Say for example, we need to upgrade the OS version. We need to upgrade a database version, but we are not changing the operating system. We are not changing the database. Say for example, if we upgrade from say Oracle 9.x to Oracle 10.x, it will be called a homogeneous system copy only. Okay, so in these cases, the operating system is not changing even though we are upgrading it, but we are not changing it from one vendor to another vendor or one type of database to another type of database. Okay, second thing is heterogeneous system copy. So in heterogeneous system copy, what happens is one of the component changes. That is either we change the operating system, we call it as a OS migration. We change the database, we call it as a database migration and if we change operating system and database, in this case system copy is called OSDB migration. Okay, so what is basically migration? Migration is a synonym for heterogeneous system copy. Okay, and we have seen many times like we need to perform a Unicode conversion because the older systems, older SAP systems, they were not Unicode, say few years back the systems were not Unicode or say for example right now our country is a US and we have created the application which runs fine in US based English but in case if you want to launch the product to say non-English countries say for example any of the European countries or any of the Asian countries so we need to convert it to Unicode so that instead of duplicating everything, entire hardware, software, we can just use the, the Unicode format. Okay, so what is a distributed system? Distributed system basically it stands for that a system that reside on more than one physical or virtual host. Say for example, you have operating system in one and you have just the database instance there you have the application instance running on different system. So th this is called a distributed environment. Okay, you can have multiple application instances and you can have say for example, your database is say one format of OS and your application servers is in another format of OS. So that is a distributed environment. Normally what happens is that say for example, Database requires extensive processing, so we go for a physical hardware and things like application servers, which doesn't require so much of processing, we can go for virtual hardware. So that's where the distributed system plays a role. Now, another key thing is source system. Source system, basically the system containing the original database, we call it as a source system. Say for example, you have a system running and you want to migrate that system to some other system and build a new system out of it. So the system from where you are taking out all the data and all is called the source system. 
target system target system basically the system to which the database copy is to be imported is called the target system so this is the system eventually we will be building it so that system we call it as a target system okay that's all in the terminology so these are the basic terms you must get used to it because we will be using very often these terms because entire OSDB migration is based on these key terms so that's all I wanted to cover in this particular training session thank you for joining and have a nice day bye bye